We have a friend in studio with us. Yes, we do. His name is PT, and he wrote us a letter basically saying he wants to be a radio personality, right, PT? Well, that's what it is. Not that's a dream. Just, that's his dream. Not just a radio personality, but he wants to give the celebrity gossip. Right. I sure do. You're all about the celebrity gossip life. It's the gossip that everyone will be talking about today. It's PT's Showbiz Top 5 on Whoa. the King Craddock Morning Show. <laughs> hey everybody, what's going on? Happy, happy, happy Thursday to everybody. It's almost the weekend. It's cold here in Houston. Hope you guys enjoyed my show yesterday. I'm PT. It's called PT Showbiz Top 5, like they just said. Thank you, King Craddock Morning Show in Dallas. And of course, in the back here, you say, well, what are those clothes? What's going on back there? Those are my celebrity friends in the back. And when I become famous and get a lot of celebrity, you know, people who follow me and come hang out with me, you know, I can't afford to have them here. They're just in my mind in the back. They're just imaginary celebrity friends. Oh, sometimes OJ hangs out. Uh, I've had Paris Jackson. She's been here. Madonna's been here. Uh, Quincy Jones has been here. I mean, you name it. <laughs> They've been here. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Y'all are stupid for watching this stupid show. Anyway, welcome to the show. Let's get right to it. Show best top five, number five. Oh, congratulations to Nene Leakes and her husband. Some great news. Show best top five, number four. Bow Wow said he's never been raped. He don't know where that rumor came from. Or molested. Show best top five, number three. Jermaine Dupree. Congratulations for Jermaine Dupree. And of course, show best top five, number two. Gladys Knight looks different. What do you think about her new look? A lot of people saying she looked like Jennifer Hudson. They say she went too far. What do you think? We'll talk about it. Of course, Showbiz Top 5, number one, Quincy Jones is talking. He has not stopped talking. He's been talking some trash, and I can't wait to talk about it. Let's get right to it. <laughs> All right, so this is about uh, Nene and Greg. Of course, Greg, you know, he was having heart problems and stuff, and he was going through a lot of issues with his heart, but she's saying that he's doing better now, and, you know, she was devastated. She didn't know what was going on with him. She had, with him, you know, she had to play nurse and so on and so on. And remember, she back in November, she broke down on Bravo talking about, you know, his health and everything, and he had a blockage in his heart. And she said, you know, because he eat everything, and so, you know, she said she had to, you know, monitor him and what he eats. So congratulations to Greg that he's feeling better and doing better. But please don't let your guard up, Nene. Please don't let your guard up, Greg. I always continue to keep your health first. That's what's most important. I'm sure they're on a lot of stretch, you know, with all the stuff Nene did in the past and, you know, and stuff like that. So anyway, we just keep Greg in our prayers. We wish nothing but the best for Greg. Let's move on. All right, this is going to be four and three. Now, uh, I was watching an interview where they were interviewing uh, Bow Wow. And, you know, there's been rumors that he's gay. There's been rumors of this. There's been rumors of that. And the rumor that I've never heard, uh, maybe you heard that he was molested or that he was uh, raped or whatever. And so they asked him in an interview, well, is this true? And he said, no, he doesn't even know where the rumor came from. But another thing that really got my attention is when he talked about, he said he'd never experienced racism. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can't, if he say he's never experienced, I can't. He say he's from Atlanta. He'd been in Atlanta all his life. Of course, you know, that's the South. But I'm thinking, hmm, maybe if he step outside of Atlanta, <laughs> you know. But then again, I don't know. Uh, you know, <sighs> But he also said that the reason why he doesn't get involved with the politics and stuff is because every time he says something, they take it and they twist it. And I can understand that. But sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stick up. You gotta say if you if you write if you put it in writing and you know if you most of the time you do videos or whatever and you if you put it in writing whatever and it's your writing. I mean, you said it. I don't know how they come. Well, I guess they could twist it, but. Anyway, child, he said he never been molested. He doesn't know where that rumor came from. He said as far as for relationship, I was wondering, you know, is he going to get into a relationship? He's still young. He said the reason why he's not into a relationship right now is because he wants someone to ride and die with him. You know, basically, you know, if you have a career, if you're a comedian, if you have a business where you, whatever you do, and you want, this is your baby, you're, gonna, you're not going to let anybody get in your way? He said, that's the way he feels. He said, he doesn't want to get into a relationship when he's at home. And she's like, come on, baby, don't go out. Don't do this and don't do that. He's like, uh-uh, I'm going to stay single. <laughs> and if I if I was him, I don't blame you. Don't let nobody stop you from doing what you do. All right. So 
kudos to uh, Bow Wow. Let's move on. This is going to be course number three. Let's congrat congratulations to Jermaine. I almost said con congratulations. <laughs> uh, he's going to be in drag for the first time. Jermaine Dupree, no. Uh, congratulations to him. He's going to be the second person that's been inducted into the uh, Writers Hall of Fame as far as a rapper that's concerned and from the ATL. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. He's very happy and I'm happy for him. And I also want to bring this to your attention. As you guys know, shout out to all the people in Atlanta. You guys will be getting the Super Bowl next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, someone brought up the the idea of using some local AT aliens, uh, you know, for the Super Bowl, like on Thank God, just uh, just Timberlake is not from Atlanta. <laughs> we will not let him. We're not gonna let him make it. Um, you have big names like Ti, Domingos. You have uh, uh, Luda. I mean, it's so on and so on and so on. What's the guy name with the big eyes? And you got Jermaine Dupree. You got all these people. And I think they should. I think they should definitely do local talent for the Super Bowl next year. Shout out to the Super Bowl in Atlanta, bitch! I need to give me a room now. But shout out to the Super Bowl being in Atlanta next year. I think this is going to be awesome. And um, they have a beautiful new uh, Mercedes Stadium, and, and I think this is good. But I definitely think that they should really think about using uh, local Atlanta talent. I mean, because you know, what's that man? Uh, yeah, what's his name with the big eyes? Uh, you know. You know, yeah, they have a lot of local talent in Atlanta, and I think it would be awesome. So hopefully they they hear what I'm saying and they do it. Because a lot of people are talking about it. Even CeeLo Green, you know, he's in on it. So we'll see what happens. Good luck to Atlanta, Georgia. Let's move on. Ooh, this is juicy. Child, well, you know, everybody getting some type of surgery these days. You know, getting the neck pulled back, the eyes pulled back, and the nose done, and all kind of stuff. Now, we don't know if Gladys Knight had anything done. But <laughs> a lot of people are talking. You know, they say she looked like Jennifer Hudson and what Missy whereas Wendy said that. And you know, they say this, they say that. Well, I mean, nobody says anything about Jane Fonda. She done had a million surgeries, allegedly. <laughs> so it's like I don't see a problem with Gladys anybody. You have to realize these people are on the road and these people have to cut try to hold up an image as long as they can. You know, of course, we would accept Gladys either way she is. But if you have the money and you can have the surgery, why not? Why not get it done? Get something pulled back. If I could, I'd have me something pulled back. You know, but no, you don't, PT. You don't need nothing pulled back. I'm just saying, if I wanted to, I can. It's my damn money. But congratulations to Gladys Knight. I mean, she's still traveling. She's young and, you know, and hard. She's young and she's still up at least in, you know, damn wheelchair no where, you know, asking somebody to help her. You know, and she looks like she's in pretty good shape. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for her, and I'm happy for anybody who has the concoins to be able to get the surgery. So what do you guys think? Make a comment below about the legendary Miss Gladys Knight. Ooh, that Quincy Jones, he can, he's just good. He's just talking. He in his 80s, and he is not letting up. Just mess it, mess it, mess it, baby. He running that mouth. <laughs> You know, of course, it came out yesterday that Richard Pryor was a bottom or a top. I don't know. I'm still trying to find out. Can somebody get the scoop on? Was he a bottom or a top? <laughs> so, for those who don't know what that is, if you're a top, that means you're putting it in the bottom. If you're a bottom, you're taking the top. This bottom line. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> so, he's also saying that Marvin Gaye was one of the children. He's saying that Michael Jackson is a thief. He steals music. And Michael Jackson, he told him to stop getting all them surgeries. <laughs> and he said, when Michael Jackson confronted him about that, when he confronted Michael about that, and Michael was telling him, trying to sell us to lie about him having that, whatever that damn disease, Lago or whatever it was, he said, told him, he said, that's a damn lie, it's BS. Quincy is running that mouth, baby. He was saying all kind of stuff. You know, he said that, uh, <laughs> he said he had, you know, he messed around with uh, Ivanka Trump, uh, <laughs> he just he just went on and on and on and on and on. Talked to I, you know, he talked about Richard Pryor. I mean, he just would not stop. I mean, it's a lot that you. It's so much I can't read everything right here. But he is really running them out, saying that the Kennedy, uh, the mob killed Kennedy. He said the Beatles were horrible. Listen, when you get in your eighties, honey, you don't have to do nothing but just speak the truth. Why not? You've lived your life, and you you one day over from cro croaking over. <laughs> I'm just saying. He has really been. He's just been pouring it, pouring it, pouring it, and pouring it, and it's nonstop. Of course, they approached Oprah about it, and Oprah said she ain't getting that. She ain't got nothing to say. She said, 
you know, he discovered her and made her who she is, you know, so, but he didn't say nothing about Oprah, but he definitely laid into uh, Michael Jackson. I'm, that's a shocker to me, baby. I'm waiting on Paris Jackson to see what she have to say about it. A lot of never boys going to buy the story anyway that Michael had something to disease. That was just a lie from the pits of the bottomless, bottomless pits of hell. I never believed that, but I'm a Michael fan and I love Michael. I don't really want to talk about it because I love him. But I'm just telling you what Quincy Messy Ass Jones said. He said Michael Jackson didn't have no damn disease. And he said that Michael Jackson needs to stop. And he said all them lies is just a bunch of lies and he's a thief. Who do you believe? Do you believe Quincy Jones? Or you don't believe Quincy Jones? I believe Quincy Jones. I believe he's in his 80s and he's either losing his mind or he's just telling, <laughs> he just telling the truth. He said the Beatles were horrible. I disagree with, him. I disagree with him on that. I thought the Beatles were awesome. That's why Michael Jackson was getting their music. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. There's so much more to read. I hope he's getting paid for this book. If he's doing the book, please let him get paid for the book. If you haven't seen seen the article about this man and all this other stuff. He is so much he's saying I can't even begin to tell you everything that he's saying about the stuff that went down in Hollywood. Hi guys, I'm PT. You guys have a great, have a great, have a great, have a great Thursday. And please, whatever you do, please, if you want to support me here at my show, please email me at comedianpt at yahoo.com and I will send you the links for my PayPal. Or you can go to Patreon and uh, support me on that end. My Patreon is PT Showbiz. All right. I love you guys. You can follow me on Twitter. That's comedian underscore PT on Twitter. Of course, my Instagram is uh, PT Showbiz, and I do also have now have Snapchat. I don't I don't know why I have Snapchat, but I'll give you the information on Snapchat when I go live later on today. Uh, also, I have of course tw uh, Twitter, Instagram. I got so much shit I can't keep up with it all. But I'm here every Monday to Friday with all the latest entertainment news. You guys have a great one, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.